Happy Legacy of Destruction release day! Woo! You like shipping? Today, we are going to be combining the powers of the Supreme Kings alongside the new Melodious cards that just released. By the way, this is not a new one. The thing is that I just haven't gotten them yet. I'll get them next week, though. Subscribe if you like Pendulum content or Yu-Gi-Oh! content as a whole. And let's get into it. And here is the deck. So first, we are playing for the new Melodious monsters. We're playing Triple Refrain. Green's a really good card. Uh, it is very good normal for summon because on either of those, you get to add a Melodious monster from deck to hand. Really good. Uh, you're able to add the couplet from, uh, from deck to hand. And if you have a Melodious monster that's level 4 or lower, Refrain, Engrave, then you're able to special summon it. Both of these cards have an effect when if they're used for fusion summon, you get to place them back on skills, which is so good. They just like made Prodigy Wakaoshi, but again, but now fusions. That's so cool. Not for a lot of people, at least, but at least for us. I, I, for us, you know, you and me. That's cool. Though I do know that it has a... You can only pendle on summon light monsters restriction. However, who cares? We have Gate Magician. So yeah, usually you're doing a very much the same combos that you would do with Magician. Uh, but yeah, it's it's now you're just like... Um, now you just can pendle on summon these out. We're having pretty much free scales. It's so good. Uh, we're still playing the Astrograph. Even though I do know Astrograph is a dark monster, uh, there is multiple hands where you can have, where you can just open the Dragon Shrine and be able to add the Gate Magician. And if you have the Astrograph plus Gate, it's it's insane. You are able to make Absolute Dragon before the Nibiru, and then you link it off into the Vortex, and boom, now you have a pretty protected board. So yeah. Really good, honestly. So yeah, we're playing the one gate zero. It's mandatory since uh, it's relevant to Gate Magician's effect. Uh, sadly, you cannot pendulum summon it out if Coppola is in the, the scale. However, not always it will be on scale. You can just scale Lightworm as well. But uh, usually Coppola is going to be in scale though, <laughs> which is really funny. Okay, so we're playing double Dark Worm. You cannot pendulum summon this one out with Coppola on the thing, but it's still a really good normal summon and also uh if you send off a dragon shrine you get to start out your combos very nicely and uh yeah pop off literally that's that's the best thing you can do uh now we're playing two light worms because now we can actually play the grind game yes we can actually grind so <laughs> the magician build uh one of the problems i had was the grind game since uh you couldn't play um light worm without exceeding the 40 card limit uh, so the so I'm just playing the light worm in this case because uh, you're able to you know loop your resources, which is very nice. I love it. So now we're getting into the hand trap. So we have one Nibiru since you cannot play the three. Oh, you you can. You're just gonna not be able to summon anything if you open the the Ostinato or the Dragon Shrine since you have to control no monsters to be able to do it. Yes, I do realize that uh, both of these could potentially conflict if you draw them. However. It's still not that bad since uh, you can just send off a Dragon Shrine later on and summon it back thanks to exceed the Pendulum. So it's not that big of a deal. So that is, you should prioritize Ostinato. Even if it's like for baiting an Ash Blossom. So yep, uh, you are playing one Triple Attack of Talent. Pretty much just um, not draw into another Talent and just be able to rip one card out of your hand or, or whatever situation you're currently at it helps a lot it's really nice uh, you're playing one melodies concerto uh since you are going to be searching it off of the couplet if you control no monsters or all monsters you control are melodious you are able to add a melodious bone trap from your deck to your hand very good scale effect and uh you're able to add the concerto which uh you can use the scales as fusion materials which is so insane Three Dragon Shrine, already spoken about it. Pretty much to send the Dark Worm. Pretty good. Uh, Foolish Burial, same purpose. Oh my god, the cats are just like finding. You're playing the one Call by the Grave. Call by the Grave is just a really good card. Uh, you're able to um, banish the Droll, banish the Ash. Whatever. It's like, I don't think I should be explaining this one, but what? just in case, Cross Out has that exact same purpose, and that is the main reason why we're playing the one Nibiru. That's literally it. Because we don't want to get Nibiru'd. And uh, it's pretty much a brick in the deck. But um, you usually want it, want the Nibiru to be in your deck. So uh, whenever you're going to side deck for this deck. 
I recommend you uh, play stuff like Lava Golem, uh, Sphere Mode, cards like that, which uh, don't conflict with your, your you controlling cards. Uh, so we're playing. So we're playing Triple Wings of Light. Wings of Light is a really good card. I I don't really understand why a lot of people don't want to play this at three. But uh, it's a really good card to play around Joel if you uh, get hit with Joel like while not having any of these four cards. So uh, if your opponent Joel's you, you're able to chain Wings of Light, search one of the Sark cards, and you're good, honestly. And yeah, like pretty much you uh, you get a free body and you're able to just keep humbling off without worrying about the Joel restriction. And uh, yeah, infinite impermanence, just it's a hand trap. So I, don't, I don't know what to tell you, like it's, it's imperm. Oh no, my camera froze and I look dumb! Ah! For the extra deck, we are going to be playing 1IP Masquerina, you know, to summon the SP Little Knight. Very basic. Uh, you're playing the one beyond the pendulum. Beyond the pendulum, yes. Let's you search any pendulum monster. That's. Yeah, it's good. Exceed the pendulum. <laughs> this card's really good. It's just better Celine for this deck specifically. We got that Balooza, uh, negates. You got access code, wins games. You got Bist Dweller, locks your opponent out of using their graveyard. Boguska doesn't let your opponent play if they can't make links or anything. Absolute Dragon summons the Vortex Dragon if it's if it leaves the field. I'm like I'm like going through this like this mainly because it's like it's I've talked about this a lot and it's like it's not you know things that haven't changed. One odd ice rebelling XYZ dragon because you will be using it as your target to send off of the gate magician effect to summon itself. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much how you do it. One typhon to play around cards your opponent controls and just like oh uh, you negated all my things and I still control a monster. Boom! Uh, summons the typhon. Aegis of Providence. Uh, main reason why we play this is a really good level 8 synchro but also since a lot of people didn't get this last video uh you will be side decking the majesty which can search any field spell so um you get to summon it off of the igniser you summon the majesty majesty will activate effect you add either secret virtual spellcasters or necro valley into this card one card so you pretty much have uh two ways to win against certain matchups which is very nice funny enough necro valley is really cool against snake eye because you get to uh uh, Flamberge is not able to summon back or uh, Oak is not able to summon back either. You're going to be playing one Bacha. Uh, Bacha is really good. Uh, this is pretty much why your combo works. Uh, on summon, you get to special summon one Melodious Monster from your deck. So you usually will summon the Refrain. Uh, refrain on summon gets less you the search. Uh, and if you uh, sent a Melodious card as material from your hand to the grave, you're able to just like summon it back with uh, Bacha's effect where you can um where it leaves the field you get to special summon one from grave which is so good and it helps you get into Appaloosa before the pendulum summon this card's broken it's so busted and you're playing the one Shiberta mainly because it banishes three cards from the graveyard so um you know if you're playing against snake guy you get to banish all their snake guy targets you get to banish the poplar you get to banish so many good cards from it so good such a good card oh my god so wild and yep that is all for the extra deck well like vortex negates yeah let's get into the combos okay so i will be showing two combos one respecting nibiru and one without respecting nibiru let's start with the one that respects nibiru okay so here we have open Ostinato and Gate Magician. Realistically, we don't have to care about Nibiru since we do have the cross out in hand. However, we're still going to respect it either way. So um, just in case they have like a draw and we still have to like activate the cross out to negate that draw and then you're able to uh, do your Gate Magician and, and Ostinato stuff. So uh, you're going to start with Ostinato. Ostinato will fusion summon from deck. Uh, it's just branded fusion pretty much. So you send both of the Melodious cards uh, since um, they need to be sent to the extra deck. So you're able to uh, reset them. So they're going to be in the graveyard, which is very nice anyways, because you're able to botch effect, 
summon refrain, you activate refrain effect, adding couplet. One effect I did not mention that couplet had is when it's added to hand and you control a little four or lower melodious monster in your graveyard, you have to reveal it and summon one melodious. So yep, you summon another refrain. Here you realistically can make a rank four. So, uh, you know, just in case if you have like a like a matchup where you know where you, who you're going against and uh, and you want to play around in the room, you could just make Paguska here and pass. Literally, you could just do that. So, but of course, we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be scaling up the couplet since the only monster we control were, were Melodious. We're able to add the Concerto from deck to hand. And now we get to scale our Gate Magician. Gate Magician effect destroying itself so we can place a Gate Zero. Now we make... The exceed the pendulum and here we don't even activate exceed the pendulums like summon effect yet we're just gonna summon activate the effect to add one from the expected hand and chain link one and the bacha effect to summon the couplet from grave so we're going to be adding back the gate magician since we're able to first summon the gate magician so uh if our opponent nibus at this point so let's say they want to nibu here we're still able to uh summon gate magician off of its own effect Activate effect, add a, uh, we can add Dark Worm. You add Dark Worm, uh, you normal summon Dark Worm, and then activate effect, get, get, get Gate Magician again. After that, you're able to just Pendulum summon the other Gate Magician out. Because so we haven't Pendulum summoned yet, reminder. But yep, we make Appaloosa here. Uh, so here we got a negate, and now we're going to Pendulum summon. We're going to be summoning the good old... The good old Gate Magician plus a Dream Monsters. Oh my god, that's so wild to see you can do Dream Monsters here. Uh, so yeah, we Gate Magician effect, adding Wings of Light. Wings of Light will get, get to add us the Dark Worm. We normal summon the Dark Worm. Dark Worm effect, adding the Gate Magician, as said previously. Then now we get to effect of, of Dark... Of, oh my god, of Supreme King Gate Magician to summon itself by sending the good old uh, Odd Ice XYZ Rebellion Dragon. Um, I said that wrong, but that's fine. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, then we make absolute dragon and thanks to that we're able to link it off into a ip mascarina activating uh, Ari's absolute effect to summon the vortex dragon so here we currently are on a board of one or technically two interruptions uh counting for sp little knight as which you will be probably using these two as uh materials and uh we have the abyss dweller that lets us play around uh our opponent you having a great very good lion deck and two negates with Appaloosa and one negate with Vortex Dragon. Very good. And of course, you can set the cross out Destinator so you're able to just pass on that. Very nice. This 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 combo goes crazy. We played around the Nibiru where we were able to do so much with this board. It's wild. Now, let's not respect Nibiru anymore. Like, we, do, we hate Nibiru. We, I don't care about Nibiru. I, I don't. So, here we have a couplet. We're going to scale the couplet. We're going, of course. Uh, this is a bit of a misplay on my part. Uh, just scale couplet first and activate the effect uh, so your opponent doesn't know you have the refrain in hand. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, I've, ha I've had a long day. You know, I took a test and all this. So I'm kind of tired. So I'm gonna, you know, you know let, let me pass through this one at least. Okay, so yeah. A couple effect gets to add you the good old concerto. You're gonna use concerto effect to uh, summon the bacha. You're going to be activating the tree effects. Uh, so chain link one bacha because you you want to be chain blocking this so your opponent doesn't ash you. And you're going to chain link to uh, couplet and chain link three the, the refrain. And uh, things after this resolves, you're able to summon the refrain. You're going to refrain effect, adding the couplet from that hand. And now the effect of refrain scale effect, which I did not mention, uh, you can target one fusion monster and send a melodious scarf from deck to graveyard and you're able to uh, boost his attack, which is very nice. So uh, we, we give it a little attack boost, but of course that's not why we want it. We want to have a melodious card in grave. So now we're able to link it off into a beyond the pendulum and chain link to the effect of Concerto's grave effects, which lets you draw a card if uh, Fusion is leaves the field. And of course you have to put the Concerto back in deck and uh, we're going to chain link Dribacha to summon back. So here, we're not playing around in the Nibiru. We, we don't like Nibiru here. So yep, we're going to be summoning all these. Uh, I, of course, I added the Game Magician because we're able to go through this line again. We uh, add Wings of Light, Wings of Light effect, adding the Dark Worm. And we're going to make the Exceed the Pendulum. Exceed the Pendulum lets us add back the, the Couplet 
so we have a high skill for like another turn since we do not have gate magician so we have to go to exceed the pendulum because uh, this is how we get our another level seven so here we're able to exceed the pendulum effect to summon out the the gate magician and now thanks to that we're able to make uh, absolute dragon and then we we make ip mastery and we activate absolute dragon summoning the the vortex dragon now we make dweller with the rlr2 materials the best part about this is that you can detach the dark worm so you're able to uh leave the dark worm in grave for future turns where you have to um uh, like if your opponent wipes your your monsters you're able to just summon it back boom uh you're back in the game it's so good so yeah that's pretty much it of course don't end your turn by not setting the imperm and the cross out please set them <laughs> i just forgot i've had a long day <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much it for the combo so i really hope you enjoy this deck i genuinely think this deck is going to be an actual threat for a lot of uh for a lot of decks this format um though we do have to make sure to play around the stuff that snake ice does since uh flamber still can block a pendulum zone so we gotta play around that as much as possible so um with that in mind thank you so much for watching I, you know, I, lo I love making these videos and subscribe if you enjoy them, like it if you haven't and let's go check out the other stuff though.